selling thing. I also bought four litres of oat milk. And milk isn't cheap these days. I was actually, um, I prefer lactose-free milk because, well, can't drink normal milk, as you know. And so I was looking along the shelves because I was in Woolies and I decided which one is cheaper and more affordable. And this particular brand of oat milk um, was only a dollar fifty per litre, whereas the lactose-free has is now two dollars a litre. And I have been training myself to like more um, vegan milks, whatever, you know, non-cow milks. So I figured, oh, oat milk is pretty creamy and really nice, so I'll buy the oat milk. Bought four litres at $1.50 a litre. Keep that in mind. Anyway, so this morning when I let Wombat in to send him out to the backyard so I can finish getting ready to go to my course, um, and I'm going through to see what damage has been done, I noticed that one of the litres of oat milk has been pulled out of my shopping bag. I've got a habit of storing my stuff, you know, non-fridge items in the garage because there's just more room out there. Um, and up until now, it's been safe to do that. But Wombat, who, if you don't know, is a cattle cross Kelpie, he decided he was... He must have been thirsty through the night because he pulled... Um, I can laugh at it now. <clears throat> With his... Jaw, he basically took one of the litres of oat milk out of the bag. He bit into the side of it, um, probably hoping it was some kind of fluid or he seen me drink the milk, I don't know. And at least half a container of oat milk has been drunk and he must have made sure that you know there was no mess anywhere because the ground is bone dry there is no you know stains anywhere except for the carton itself and the carton is distinctly lighter by about half a litre and so miss so Wombat clearly feasted on oat milk last night after he had his dinner and it's like I can't, couldn't even punish him. I, I did scold him for it this morning, basically just saying, can you not go into my shopping? Um, because...